chicken. Disclaimer. Numbskull Games does not recommend eating a full chicken found on the ground of Battlefield. Eat responsibly. If you've been following Numbskull Games on any of our socials, you must be aware of the highly anticipated arcade adventure game, Battle Axe. With amazing pixel art by Hank Nieborg, the music of legendary game composer Manami Matsume, and of course, addictive retro-style gameplay, Battle Axe is sure to be one of our standout games of the year. We're so excited that Battle Axe is just around the corner, so today we're going to show off some gameplay footage, explain how the game works, and give you an overview of what you can expect when the game releases. As always, if you want to support us at Numskull Games, please like this video, drop a comment, and subscribe to our channel. The story of Battle Axe is one of good and evil. The despotic sorceress known as Ethelred has put the world of Mercia under her tyrannical grasp, enslaving town inhabitants and placing dozens of monster spawning generators across the land. Many mercenaries have tried to take down Ethelred and have journeyed to her impenetrable tower, but none of them have returned thus far. Enter our three heroes, Rooney the Marauder, Fae the Dark Elf, and Iolo the Druid, who have all stepped up to put an end to Ethelred, her guardians, and the threat they pose over the land of Mercia. It's up to you to help them make this a reality. Battle Axe is a top-down, arcade-styled adventure game that will pose an old-school challenge for lovers of the genre. You take control of one of the three available playable characters to fight through levels and waves of enemies as you release captive prisoners and collect treasure and currencies to upgrade your skills. Each character has a full eight directions of movement, as well as their own special ability and a short and long range attack. As you progress through levels, you'll even find magic spells that you can use to clear full waves of enemies in one go. The characters each function with their own different strengths and weaknesses. Rooney, the Marauder, attacks with a cannon he carries on his shoulder. Powerful ranged attacks are his speciality, though he can also swing that cannon up close and personal to really do some damage. With his special ability charge, Rooney can steamroll through groups of enemies with extreme power, which can help clear the screen in the heat of a crowded battle. Rooney has a strength advantage over the rest of the characters, though he moves slower given his size and weapon of choice. Faye the Dark Elf attacks with dual blades as an extremely skilled fighter. She's the fastest character out of the three, with quick paced ranged and non ranged attacks. Attacking with her blades up close and throwing knives at a rapid pace from a distance, Faye's movement speed is complemented by her dash ability. This not only can be used to speed through levels and get her out of tricky situations, it can also be used to damage multiple foes at once and tear through enemy groups. Though he is technically the slowest and physically weakest playable character, Iolo the Druid attacks with powerful ranged magic that makes him adept at fighting from a distance. Up close, he destroys enemies with his beard. Though he can't take as many hits, you will have a huge advantage maneuvering yourself around the battlefield. Iolo's special ability allows him to teleport, which is great for escaping tough scenarios, damaging foes, and putting yourself in the perfect place to unleash some magic. These three characters are all playable in both of the game's key modes. First up, Arcade Mode. Go through a series of levels, waves of enemies, environmental hazards and boss battles as you fight your way to Ethelred's tower. As you fight through, collect currency, free civilians and upgrade your toolkit at the end of each level. Just like in the arcade, you have a limited amount of lives and credits so you will need to hone your skills and practice if you want to get through to the end. If you can beat arcade mode, you can also enjoy New Game Plus, which will keep the fun ongoing even after you beat the game. Infinite mode changes up the arcade formula, creating a new gauntlet-style gameplay mode. Procedurally generated levels are the focus here. You'll have to clear floors of enemies and search for a portal that takes you through to the next stage. Infinite mode contains a mixture of elements from arcade mode, so you'll be able to upgrade abilities mid-level and still be on the lookout for treasure, hazards, and civilians. Infinite mode is always changing and will keep you on your toes. Of course, both of these gameplay modes are also playable in two-player local co-op. You can take on both arcade mode or gauntlet mode with a friend, helping each other out or stealing each other's items. There's still plenty more options available in Battleaxe, which include different difficulty options, 
a CRT shader to make the game feel a little bit more retro, a full list of achievements to unlock, and the ability to save your high scores, a necessity for an arcade styled game. We hope you enjoyed this preview of Battle Axe today. If you'd like more information about where to purchase it from, check out the links down below.